very same area. Well, look at this shit right here. Because if I'm not mistaken, that looks like a winged serpent. That jump straight off Mario, brother. Cause if I'm not mistaken, that looks like something that would be hanging off the side of a Mesoamerican pyramid. But it's found along the Ohio River. This is a legitimate artifact, but there's no connection to Mesoamerica. It just so happens to be something that... Res he wouldn't even say this resembled anything in Mesoamerica. But look at this. This looks like an image that would be hanging off the side of a Mesoamerican pyramid. But it was found in Indiana. What's so special about Indiana? We got pudding head niggas, big nose Mayan looking niggas, and winged serpents. That's Mario Brothers right there, boy. How the fuck did all these niggas get to Indiana? Well, that's a stupid question. Maybe the question you should be asking is, how the fuck did all these niggas get to the Yucatan? But maybe the people from the Midwest migrated to the Yucatan. Maybe the people from the Midwest migrated to the Central Valley of Mexico. Their narrative of world history is a house of cards, and it is folding before our eyes. They'll tell you there's no connection between these two cultures, and yet... I must be a fucking idiot. Because I see these big nosed niggas, I see pudding headed niggas, I see wooden identical fucking statues, and I see winged serpents. All in areas that should not be connected to the Yucatan or the Central Valley of Mexico. And if you're asking how does this make America Egypt, you're not fucking getting it. You need to go back to episode one, fam. If you don't understand, you need to start over from the beginning. Because we've covered a lot of subjects here. And I'm happy to be able to get on these pudding face niggas who are in Indiana. Big nose niggas in Indiana. Serpents in Indiana. The reason these charlatans can perpetuate their false agendas is because they hide this information. The question should be, how much more shit that's like this that's still out there or has already been found and hidden? Because if we're finding very rare artifacts and they're matching patterns from other places, there's obviously something missing from the story. The truth is missing. That's the end of the episode. Check this guy out, UBTV. Make sure you like and subscribe. This guy is really good. This guy's the truth.